Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for May 21st, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. In our top news story, the Initiative for Medicines, Access and Knowledge challenged patents held by Gilead Sciences for Sovaldi in Argentina, Brazil, China, Russia and Ukraine. The advocacy group stated that despite its efficacy, the active ingredient in the hepatitis C drug was developed using existing knowledge and a previously existing compound. Also featured, Sanofi and Regeneron Pharmaceuticals plan to seek U.S. approval of Cerilumab in the fourth quarter. The company said that the experimental antibody met the main goals of three late-stage studies in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. In other news, German health authorities ruled that the benefit of Unicure's gene therapy Glybera is not quantifiable at present. The regulator noted that further safety and efficacy data are needed to begin a new assessment of the treatment, which costs around $1 million, in June 2016. In addition, sources suggested that Cadilla Healthcare is in talks to buy Claris Life Sciences' generic sterile injectables business for around 34 billion rupees. The parties are reportedly engaged in due diligence negotiations, with a deal expected to be announced next month. And finally, Novo Nordisk denied claims by Baxter that its Hemophilia A therapy Novo 8 infringed some of its patents. Baxter asked the U.S. International Trade Commission, which is investigating the matter, to immediately remove the product from the market. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 